Hi, it's Matt from Tubby Tarot. Welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be doing the Isis Oracle, the Pocket Edition. Now, this comes in a full-size edition, but I'll show you why I really like the Pocket Edition. First of all, it's by Blue Angel, so you know the quality is going to be amazing. It's by Alana Fairchild, and it is a deck that is almost the same size as a deck of playing cards, probably a little bit bigger. Um, the box is nice, got the little finger holes, and it's just plain blue inside, but it's really sturdy. You can see it's a nice thick cardboard box to store your cards in. It's also a nice little box because you can throw it in your bag. It's that kind of size. Okay, putting the box aside, it comes with an instruction card, okay? There's the instructions on how to use the deck, and there's an introduction to the deck and the author um, slash artist, all right? Um, the art is actually by Jimmy Manton. And he's done quite a lot of the um, Egyptian style artwork that you see on many of the cards. Okay, now this deck does not come with a booklet. It only comes with this little card. And I'll show you why in a minute. The main deck, the big deck, actually has a booklet that comes with it. Now, the reason the pocket deck doesn't come with a booklet is this. You have the card. Now, these cards are not numbered in any way. So you have the card. And on the back of the card is the name of the card or the card title and then the blurb, the actual oracle, okay? And this in the main deck is not on the card, it's in the book. So in the main deck, if you take a card, you have to go to the book to see what the meaning is if you're not going to read intuitively. These are also quite difficult to read intuitively. It's a very specific deck. So let's go through the deck, okay? I am going to go through the deck with you. Um, so here we go. There's that one, there's that one. Obviously, it is an Egyptian deck, being the Isis Oracle. Uh, the artwork is phenomenal. The coloring is all reds and oranges and um, a lot of kind of symbolism, obviously. It is very cartoon-like, but it's, it's kind of almost... I think it's a cross between manga and adult cartooning, you know, like graphic novel stuff. In fact, probably more graphic novel. Some beautiful images here. That's like the high priestess. You can see she's got her baby. But some gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Some with people, some without people, but all high Egyptian. I love that. The movement that he gets, that he captures in a lot of his work. Sure, it's just, I mean, look at that. It's really awesome. And there we have a bit of a crystal. Here's another really, two couple of really, um, beautifully sort of rendered movement cards. Love that. And you'll see there are repetitive motifs like this wheel and even repetitive characters, I'm sure you've noticed, and even this male character appears. There he is there. There he is. Gorgeous. Love the greens and the blues. And look at the scarab, the purples that he uses in his colors. There's another crystal. It really is a magnificent deck. There's the Ankh. I don't know what this is, but it's awesome. I love that. I'd love to get a tattoo like that. It'd be flipping amazing. Add to my mini. That's a cool one. I don't really know what that is because it's like a horse head with big ears. Another gorgeous one. Look how he draws the drapery. This is awesome as well. I could actually just frame that, blow it up and frame it as a, as a, as a painting. This is interesting because you've got these two, I wanted to show you, look here, you've got, they're almost the same, they're the same character, but they kind of face each other. Really awesome. The, the cards don't need numbers, obviously, because they have this blurb on the back. So you don't, have, that doesn't go in a numerical, any numerical order as such. There's the green guy again. Um, so yes, you can read intuitively with this, but I wouldn't really know how. There's your, your wheel again. Um, I'm not really sure how you would read intuitively with this, this deck because it's so, the, the images are so Egyptian and so foreign um, wheel that I think it'd be quite difficult to read intuitively. I don't know. If you have this deck, or if you have the, the, the larger deck, the full-size deck, maybe you can drop me a comment below and let me know if you do read intuitively with this. That looks like um, Cleopatra. 
and there's the last one. It's a smallish deck. It doesn't it isn't huge. I have um, edged mine in a in a bright orange, um, just because I I find that the orange in the in the cards is so much orange and, and red. Look here, so much orange stuff that's going on here. Um, so I've actually edged mine in a bright orange. Really nice. The obviously the cards don't have a backing because they've got the writing on the back, and the actual card stock is. Strangely enough, it's slightly flimsy for a Blue Angel deck. Blue Angel is normally pretty um, intense with their card stock. This is slight, a slight disappointment, but it is still a marked difference to your Les Carabeo, um kind of kind of card stock. Not that I hate Les Carabeo, but they are renowned for being a little less um, quality conscious when it comes to the the actual card stock. So it's a really nice deck. Um, you. It is a gloss, a gloss deck. It's kind of a high gloss deck, as you can see there when the light hits it. So it's not really a deck that's going to be easy to read outside or in very bright overhead lights. Um, for instance, if you're going to a, a fair or a, or a, a reading in a, at a fete. But it's a lovely deck. It can be used as a spread deck. Or what you can do, and I think it would work better if you actually use this deck as a one card per day draw or as a um, a final card draw if you're using perhaps a Egyptian deck to do a, a either a Thoth reading or perhaps if you're doing a full tarot reading you could use the Isis Oracle um, in conjunction with that. So that is the Isis Oracle uh, Pocket Edition by Alana Fairchild and the art is by Jimmy Manton. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Join me next Sunday for yet another deck review.